Look at this. Whoa, look at this game. Alright, let's just quit. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Here I am. Again. I lied. He thought I was done. That was funny. We're back. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. You were like, oh shoot. He tricked me. Oh damn, he's like... Shoot. He's streaming. And then, uh... And you guys are like, oh shoot, he ain't streaming. It was a joke. You're like, oh bam, oh man. That's a close one. Ooh. Oh, damn, just kidding, I'm leaving. Bye. Gotcha again. You were like, oh shoot, I thought he was done. Oh shoot, but you know, I'm still here. <laughs> Faked you out again. What do you do about that? Oh, oh, oh snap. What's up? What's up with that? Yeah. I don't know if anyone's watching, so I'm not starting it. So I'm gonna leave. Goodbye. Ooh, what's this? What's up? I'm quitting. See you later. Hi, you saw my background. Just kidding, though. Look at this. Hey, joke. Nah, this is the third time I'm doing it. Oh, that's so funny. The first time, right? So I did it. Alright, I'll actually start now. Oh, where we left off, Monica was all up in our, in our personal space. This might be a little strange for me. Put it. And I <laughs> see already happening. I at least keep my word. <laughs> well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. What the? Thanks for keeping your promise, Komi. No problem. Hope this isn't too overwhelming. Yeah, this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, go, oh, 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 come on. Like, he deserves, that deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if he planned to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take this seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Get out of my freaking way! You're in front of the text! Monica, what are you doing? Back off! Scoot! Uh... I don't know what that says. Natsuki... Uh... Mainly? I don't know. Has a big mouth for someone who keeps... Blank Monica collection in the club room. Why you gotta be in the way, Monica? But... But I don't know what you're saying. She's really close. She's got a weird face and she's in my freaking business. Thank you. Shoo. Natsuki finds himself stuck with the manga. Same manga and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, kill me. Make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Thank you. Here he shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that. If you ask... Well, that scared me. I thought... I thought... <laughs> well, she changed, it. She changed positions and that, that scared me a bit. Wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh... If you don't really, if, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Ah, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of the club, of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Wow, thanks. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that 
I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bags and pulls out something. Nah, she pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted to. This is how a girl accidentally be- Wait. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this maybe one day. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone is settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. Well, it doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. And I can't help but notice an intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Oh my god, my leg hurts. Oh, I'm really curious, because when I do this stupid thing, I'm like laying on the floor all the time. And crisscross. Is that how I go on my computer? But it hurts. I'm sorry, no one asked. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, would it feel bad? I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks in another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. Hi, Dad. <laughs> I'm recording. I didn't shovel, you're right. I'll shovel tomorrow, it's okay. When it's ice. Now then, back to business. Dot, dot, dot. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I muttered this. Sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed that in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? <laughs> I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason or anything, or, you know... Just curious how come... How come you have two copies of the same book? I read all this. When is the crazy stuff gonna happen some more? I like when it does the little, like, little changes. It's like, oh, that that's freaked me out a bit. Ah. Well, then I stopped at the bookstore. Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Ah, that's not what I meant. I mean, she went to the bookstore to get another copy so she can read it with me. I know. I know. I just happened to buy two of them. Yeah, right. Come on. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon, wink wink. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about, anyway? Well, mm, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There is an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. On the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. Wait, is this the same thing she told me last time? That people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse. And they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and asphyxiating them too. Ooh, that might be a little too bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of, that's kind of dark, isn't it? It made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. Ah. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing? Kill me? I thought you were, judging by your name. No, it's not that. 
I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Hehe. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclu reclu <laughs> reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems so completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, when horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. But because the world is full of horrible people, and we're all worthless anyway. Why is the text like this? Then suddenly, oh, I'm rambling, aren't I? I didn't even skip it, they skipped it for me. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. And I let this... When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly what? I it keeps skipping it, man. I ain't skipping it. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I'm so sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about your reading. The, le the least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it right? Oh Yeah! Yes! I mean, you don't have to, but... Ah, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. Oh, this is... This is giving me the goosebumps, ooh! Little, little goosebumps, man. Oh, damn. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next, next to Yuri's. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? Seem a little bit apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Oh, uh, alright. Open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. As if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Not as comforting as, uh, not knowing what another jump scare thing is going to happen, but, you know, keep reading. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry! I was just bathing in the feeling- what the f- I don't know what it said, but... Okay. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Ah! Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's. Then I hold my book more between the two of them. Ah! I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a bit, our shoulders almost touching. Are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead, I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess it makes kind of makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. I'm not, I'm not liking this, this scene, because I feel like the next time I click, something's going to pop up. But let's see. Ah. I do the same thing with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn the page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddling even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's, a, it's, a, yeah. it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. 
Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I'm like waiting for this jump scare. I know it's coming. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'm able. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. She has like, the, like the Sharingan. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue to read. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri! This might be silly thought, but... The main, char main character kind of reminds me of you a, a little bit. Oh my god. For a second I thought she had like a huge smile. Cause I'm like looking down here. And I saw her face change and I'm like... Ooh. Eh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking. The way she second guessed things. She says in all that. Ah. That's why. That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Then no, no, never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know what why that came into my head. Aha. Aha. Ah, what does that say? You. Oh no. I'm not reading that. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? You've been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little. My breathing. Here he puts a hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Stop smiling. Anyway, I'm fine. <laughs> I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Here he stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Kill me! Monica, don't scare me like that. Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Here he's acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything. Sorry, can't you do it? say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything there. No, nothing. So you think. Aha, aha! Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri does this same. Wait, Yuri just does some, this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. All right, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd just get started without her. Is that all right? Okay. Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. Dun, 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 dun. This didn't happen last time. Oh, let's give it to Monica. Hey, Monica! Don't scare me! Oh, wait, I skipped that part. Yes, it, it, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, kill me! Having a good time so far? Ah, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. I pressed it, but it wasn't going. By the way, since you're new and everything, do you ever have any suggestions for the club? Like new activities or anything we can do better? I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better at just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway... Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, kill me. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. 
I had Monica in my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Kill Me. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. Or oh, whatever. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it all counts when I put some effort. Haha, <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it all it worked anyway. You know what? You know that that yeah. You know <laughs> You know that Yuri likes this kind of stuff, and this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. Well, there goes spaghetti. I don't mean like that. It's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head, and it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she so, gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. But I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must really be starved for social interaction. So don't blame her for coming on a little strong. If you know what I mean. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she'll end up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back! Did I miss anything? No, not really. We all just all talking about you behind your back. We all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get, go get my poem now. Yeah, let's go do that. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to not be very good. Well, that's because I, I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. Oh, wait, just because I sound whatever. I see. Well, let's read it then. Let's read your poem. Hole in wall. But he wasn't looking at me, confused. I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there other others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems? On a flat sheet of paper. Sheet of paper. The sound of frantic. I don't want to read this. Well, no, there's nothing interesting. We're just gonna skip. It was good. Nice. Hmm. It's very free formed, if that's what you call it. I'm sorry. I'm not the really the right person to ask for feedback, especially because I only read half of it. Aha. Uh -huh, it's okay. And yeah, that kind of stuff has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Yep, very powerful when I read it. Uh, what was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if, you, if I know how to put it. Probably the death of my friends. I guess you could... Wait, I'm getting a phone call? Yep, it's getting a phone call. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, what's up, dude? Uh huh. Uh, I'm a meeting next to, to the right history. It says skip. Uh, the reason why that is now shaded in is because you've already seen this part and you can skip until you can get to something that you haven't seen. Should I do it? Uh, you've already read it, so it's up to you. And it's not going to skip anything you haven't read. It's only skipping what you have read. The conversation with Monica you've already had. Oh. Uh, I. Yeah. Do you want me to skip it? It's really up to you. I mean, if you want to reread something, then you can go ahead. I already skipped it. <laughs> Wait, did I do this too? I can skip this part? Uh, if it's shaded in, it might be different. I don't know. It says skip. left too so see how far we can get 
see Yuri. Hey Yuri, how you doing? Skip. As you're reading the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional! Eh, what was that? Let's see what she says. Did I say that out loud? What is she saying here? She's gonna hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I guess you're right. What I'm getting so nervous for. Ah! Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing exper experience do you have? You're between metaphor in case you've ever written a lot of poetry before. I don't write poetry. Really? Ah, it's a huge conflict coming from you. It's actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly and looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just mean, um... Yuri trails off and I'm able to find an excuse. She traces her finger along. I, I didn't read this part. I don't remember reading it. She traces her finger along the breaking down with early. Yeah. Okay. The reason I was able to tell. The specific, specific writing habit is usually typical. Ah, oh, yeah, I did read it. Think of the most noble. I recognize the writers that have tried to make sense out of a lot of uh, skip. Oh, nice poem. Ooh, good. Hey, how you doing? What are you? Oh! 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 Oh boy! Why? What was that? <laughs> what? What? Why did her eyes pop? What? <laughs> Harsh. Are you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? You think I'm stupid? I think your eyes just blew up, but you know, whatever. I'm not a writer. Uh, maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put effort in. We all start somewhere, right? And if you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Eh. Painful to think about. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. That still freaked me out. Oh my god, I got goosebumps now. Oh boy. Let me get my blanket. Oh, here we go. That's better. This blanket will protect me from any, any eyes that pop. Oh boy. There we go. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, teach their own, I guess. Anyway, I thought her eyes started coming out again. Aww. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, they probably think it's you'll probably think it's stupid. I read this. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Alice can sneak. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. Cheerio. I guess the title. People can try, but that's about it. Good poem. I liked it. Yeah, I told you that you were gonna like it. Oh, I wasn't gonna like it. I liked it. I read this, so skip and then some eyes are gonna pop. Phew! I'm ready for something scary. Guess that's everyone. Glance around the room, and everyone's dead. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone has judged me for my mediocre. Hear the music? Oh no. When the music is a little off, that's when it gets a little creepy. And I heard it go a little off. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm getting a little, little phone, phony call. Hey, how you doing? When they you fight? The the I think it was the second poem because the first poem I didn't know what I was doing. Alright. Bye. Hey, you could have just wrote it in the chat, man. I would have answered. But, uh. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. 
Even if they're just being nice, there's no way poems can stand up to theirs. My poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's why I ended up what I, what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki, and their eyes land on the floor when they pop again. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper and start. They're sharing their respective poems. If they're in tandem, I watch each expression change. I don't want, I don't want no more jump scares, please. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Can I read this? Um, did you say something? Oh no, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Oh no, I'm getting a phone call. Hey, how you doing? Hi, you can stop the stream after this whole fight's over. Why, is something bad gonna happen? No, you just, after this fight's over, you can stop the stream. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That, that, that eye popping was not was not not what I wanted. I know, I know, you'll be fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, bye. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to it. But I know I know he said there's nothing gonna happen, but there's something gonna happen. You can't you can't trick me. But here we go, I'm ready for it. I'm not, but I'm ready. Cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? I just want this game to go back to being nice and friendly. You know? I, I was enjoying I started, you know, the thing about this, I started to actually get into it. I was like, oh yeah, I, I'm liking this game as it is. I didn't need no twist, no nothing. I'm like, start, you know, starting to get into it. I like, I'm liking, liking some of the characters. Like Monica. Yuri, Sayori, but we don't talk about her because she's dead. But you know, I was like, well, forget her, Natsuki, no, forget her. But I was starting to get into it, man. And then, you know, this happens. So I'll finish this fight scene, then I'll end it, then I'll cry. Alright. It's clear, clear about the feeling of giving up. How can this, that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Hmm. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm? If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Kill Me did too. So, based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly interesting and inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Kill Me liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Huh! Oh no, Natsuki suddenly stands up. I'm not liking this. The music stopped. Oh boy, what's next? What's next? Thanks for watching! Find out next week! I'm not liking this, man. Just give me a minute to breathe. Take a deep breath. These aren't deep breaths. Oh boy, let's get to it, kid. Let's get to it, kid. Natsuki stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress a new member, Yuri. Eh? Wait, what? Oh, my legs. Oh, my legs hurt. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. Eh? 
There's this false sense of hope and security. And that's not what I... Oh. Uh, you're just... You know, he stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Kill Me appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know that he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would... Deliver I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Well, you know what? I was an only one whose boobs magically grew size bigger as soon as Kill Me started showing up. <gasps> Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out, taking out your own insecurities on others like that. Oh! Oh! You really have to join the look at Me, who's talking? Wanna be edgy? Oh, shoot. Edgy? Sorry, I don't like this. 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 <laughs> Let's return and have a jump scare. Alright, my life size is too much for your, someone your mental age can comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Hey, let's have uh let's have a little savey moment here, guys. Hey, how you doing? I'm alright, you okay? Oh uh, no. <laughs> No, I'm good. Alright, bye. Right, I gotta push through, I'm gonna push through it. I ain't scared of no cutesy. Look at this game. It's all pink and cutesy. Just saying, that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves, and they graduate middle school, you know? If you want me to prove anything, stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting all cutesy? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh my god, so edgy. Oh my bad. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the F? Whoa! What the F's wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. But kill me here, everything you really think. I'm sure he'll head over, he'll be head over his heels after you after this. Ah! Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me. Did she just notice I'm standing here? Kill me. She just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. He started it. How did I get dread on the little 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 Yuri, sure. Oh no, I get no Yuri no no Oh Am I picking the wrong one? Let's get let's just get closer. I guess it's her! Hey Hey Monica. <laughs> Monica, um Hey kill me. Hey Monica. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> What's happening? Can I click this still? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, I really don't know what the hell's going on, man. <laughs> I really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. Probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> Ooh that was a doozy. Just give me a second. Let me just breathe. You know, I, I know I screamed like a, a little pansy there. Like half of it was a joke. Or like a joke scream, and half of it was real. Cause I was like, oh boy, did not expect that. But damn, let's continue. Some present I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never had, a, had it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, I dropped something. 
this makes it if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh, look, she's crying. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're all done. Didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Her palms are sweaty. Easy palm spaghetti. Vomit on a sweat. Yuri. I didn't mean it. I believe you. I had no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did I? Kill me. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. Monica, can you like... Like, see, this is fine, Monica. You're like behind the text. And sometimes you're just kind of like right in front. Your face is right here. Zoomed in. Like, that's not okay. I mean, yeah, you're, nothing scary about this face. But... Something scary about this face. We know you didn't mean it. Can we have some music? Come on, like... I need some music, man. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, give me, give me one moment. One moment. One moment, real quick. One moment. Just one moment. Hey, uh, sorry about that. The, the stream cut out. I was gonna play some happy music in the background, but I think that cuts out my stream. So what I'm gonna do is not do that and just continue. So I left off. Do their faces move? I don't care. Besides, I'm sure that Natsuki will forget about it all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Dot dot dot. Anyway, the meeting's over, so you can go home now if you want. Mir looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I have to stay here a little bit longer. Hey, Pi, you still in the chat? Because I, I, I need some guidance here, man. Am I doing anything wrong? Did I, did I, did I, did I screw up? Is there supposed to be music right now? I don't know, man. I'm president, so I, I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Alright, stalker. Well, I'm the vice president, so please let me take responsibility today. Kinda sounds like you don't want me to be around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book would kill me. It would just be embarrassing while, while you listen. Sigh. Shouldn't say, but she sighs. Because I don't really have a choice. Hold on. Nope, the music's good. I ain't going back there. We saving right over that. Alright. <coughs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciate- ah! Alright, let's see what we're gonna do. Uh, we, we know what we're gonna do? We're gonna save! And we're gonna be done! Thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.